In this video, I'll show you how to use the 11T static site generator with Drupal Content Management System. This is the super compressed version of this video. I will publish a more detailed version very shortly. So please subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash spinspire. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the code is publicly available, so please uh, see the video description. Just clone the Git repository and follow instructions in README. Okay. So that's exactly what I did. I basically git cloned the repo and I ran npm install and then npm run dev. So let me show that. So if I yeah, so just run dev right there. And then uh, let's make sure we will open it here. Uh, not that one, this one. Yes, so that's the 11T site. Okay. So at the most basic level, uh, 11 d lets you generate HTML files from a layout file. So the end, the layout file is basically an HTML wrapper around the content and a bunch of markdown files which provide the content. One markdown file per HTML page. So let me show you the layout file. Let's uh, see the layout file. The layout file is default.njk. This is using Nunjux. Uh, Nunjux templating. Most of it is just HTML. There can be YAML front meta in the beginning, but uh, then there will be some variables that will get templated. Okay. So that this is the layout, and then the content is index. In my case, it's index.md. So in terms of the structure, you will see that there is SRC. There's the data underscore data directory underscore includes, which contains the layout file and then assets are static assets then there is the index.md so now if this this is the index.md if i make some changes to so in a markdown file as you know you know the plain text turns in remains plain text you can also inject some html but here i have a bullet list if i make some small change to the bullet list right and watch on the right hand side, this showed up automatically. It refreshed the, the browser window, got refreshed, and uh, you know, the new content showed up. Any changes if I do this and now I'm saving it, and then the right hand side uh, updated stuff, uh, I can do add two bullets, let's say, and that keeps changing. So, this is a very good way to uh, write content very quickly, very fast. And then uh, it turns into HTML. So that's the, um, you know, there's a lot more that 11T can do. And I would love to show you in a later video. But right now, I want to show you how 11T can generate static site from Drupal site content. So here is my Drupal site. I have this Drupal site. And this is the content management uh, page on Drupal site. <laughs> And I have 101 articles. Mm, I machine generated 100 of them, and then by hand I wrote one. Okay. So um, now I have enabled the JSON API module. You can see that here on Manage Extend. And then if I look for JSON, yes. So this JSON API module I have enabled, right? And if, because I've enabled this JSON API module, I can then go to my site slash JSON API, and then, uh, you know, this page, oops, sorry. If I go to this page, um, So this JSON API shows a whole bunch of articles 
the full body, everything in the article shows up like that. So this is what you get here. Okay. So back in 11T, I take advantage of this dynamic of the dynamic data features of 11T. So so that I can show if you go into uh, this data directory, each of these can be a piece of data that will be globally available. So I am looking at this articles.js. Articles.js you will see as a function. So uh, I have this premature return. So let me remove that. So I start. I have this function which I export the get data function, and that returns an array of articles. Of course, the initially it's empty, but then I actually hit site dot parent. Now site dot parent. You have to make sure that there is there is this file called um, data site dot js. You have to make sure that your the parent field of site dot js is pointing to your Drupal site, and this is my Drupal site. You should be yours should be pointing to your own Drupal site. Okay, so now article dot js will construct a URL from that parent site slash JSON API node article, fetch that data, parse it, uh, massage it in some ways, and then return it. Once it has been returned. The Drupal, uh, Drupal JSON data is now available globally. Okay, in uh, this in anywhere it's available, but we make use of it over here in articles.md. So as you can, see, if I go to my website, there's this articles link. So this is the URL says site slash articles. This is this. HTML file on the right hand side is generated from this markdown file on the left hand side. This is called arc articles.md here, while this is articles slash index.html. But you will notice that it uses pagination. So this is the articles global variable that we populated in articles.js uh, through by fetching data from um, from Drupal's JSON API. Then there were 101 elements in that array. We slice it up into 20 each, and that's how we end, end up with 20 uh, with six pages. So these are these are the six pages. Okay, and uh, we we iterate over all the links that are available, so 20 links at a time. Put that in the page, and that's what we are iterating over here. And at the bottom, we we give a paginator. And this paginator came from, um, I mean, the styling for the paginator came from Bootstrap. So you will notice that we are, as I go from page to page, this uh, the page fades out and fades in again. So this is because I'm using swap library for page transition. Sweet, sweet, isn't it? So this see, see the readme for details on how to do that. So I showed you how to write content as markdown right and turn it into html i showed you how to fetch um, json data from drupal i showed you how to turn that into a paginated list like this right and now finally i want to show you how to create an article detail page which is this kind of a detail page this is the detail of an article how to create this article detail page and we will have one such one detail page for each of the articles so, so total 101 articles therefore 101 article detail pages so for that i have this uh, so this was the article listing page there is another one called page article.md this is the article detail page it also uses pagination it also uses art, the global variable articles for its data, but it has a page size of one. So if you have an, an array of 101 elements and then you paginate it into page size of one, how many pages will you end up with? Of course, 101 pages. So that is exactly what happens. 
but since all of them will have the same same uh, they are all going to page article.html perhaps right so we need to give it a different permalink and the permalink i am using from the, is coming from drupal basically so node nodes uh, path alias so now at the very top you have the title which comes from the layout the layout is outputting the title and inside this uh, template i have submitted by the author name which is anonymous in this case and on whatever the modification date was which is whatever this date is right if i were looking at a different uh, article i would see um, uh, perhaps okay yeah this one is submitted by admin the author is admin and the date is different and right below that there is this image this image also came from drupal i can see that if i view it on drupal that's what the image looks like right on drupal but over here this is 11t static site showing the same content so that's the image then the node body is being shown over here this is the node body and then at the very bottom there are two button links uh, you can view it on drupal and you can edit on it on drupal so now you can make changes to this also and they will show up here so the temp okay now so now you can see all this and uh, i hope i was able to pique your interest in using 11t with drupal uh, a static site is just a bunch of html files right therefore it's super fast and super secure these are the html files so and it's very cheap to host them also static files you can keep your uh, drupal site on a dynamic uh, server uh, but away from all the prying eyes but then you can put the content out to the public as a static site so um, i would encourage you to subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash inspire and watch out for the detailed version of this video in which i will explain every step and every technical concept thank you for your time and stay curious